Okay, Nick, let's walk through and see what we need to do to get this set up so that your site looks a little bit more like the uh, dot com secret site. As you recall, we wanted to change the text at the top and we wanted to change the text down here at the bottom as well as have this image pop up when the button is clicked on the first part of the form. So let's just jump in. And I already clicked on add a new step. And what we're going to do is we're going to come up. We're going to make that step an order form. And I have a blank template that I created. So I can always have a nice blank order form to open up. And we're going to edit the page. And we're going to go in and create a section at the top. We'll make that full width. And we'll make a two column row. And just to pull this down from the top a little bit, let's just... Uh, Put in some top padding to pull it down a little bit. Um, so our row didn't come in. Let's try it this way. On the left-hand side, we're going to need a headline. So we'll pop that in. And we'll put in a video. And below that video, let's just put in an image. And let's see what I have for an image we can pop in here just to use. That one will do fine. Yeah, oh, that wasn't the one I wanted, but that's just fine as well. So in the right-hand side, that's where we're going to put in our two-step order form. And we'll slide this over a little bit. Now, my columns and everything aren't going to be the same as what they did over here. They obviously, they did a lot of serious coding on this site to get it to work like it does, especially in the order form. There's a lot of JavaScript in the background. And all we're doing is we're just emulating what it looks like. We're just going to make it look like this. We're not necessarily going to have all the functionality that the other site has. So inside of the order form itself, Let's uh, go in here, and what we want to do is we want to go to advanced, and we want to turn off the phone number because we don't want that. Otherwise, everything there is just fine, and we'll click on preview step two, and this is what we want it to look like, essentially, is we want the uh, selector at the top and the order summary at the bottom. So everything is set up and ready to go except for our code. And I will go over here and grab the code off of this other page. And we're going to come in and we're going to put the code into our footer tracking code. And now we're going to walk through a little bit of what the code does. The first bit of code, uh, what this does is this is going to, and I didn't show you this. Let me show you this. This is what it's going to look like as a result. We're going to have our dot com secrets free plus shipping at the top. Uh, dot com secret zero dollar shipping seven ninety five order total seven ninety five, just like they had over here. So this very first part, all it does is says dot com secrets book. And then below that, we have some pre-formatted tax for the free plus shipping. And that, again, creates this section here. Below that, we have what I'm calling our faux summary. And again, we have .com secret book, and we have $0. I'm pointing this stuff out because if you change your product name, you're going to want to change this. You'll probably leave the free plus shipping alone, and you'll want to change your book name, but you'll probably want to leave the zero alone. And then below that, we have our faux total, which I have order total, and I have $7.95, which, of course, is the cost of the shipping for this item. So again, you can see all of that right down here at the bottom. Now I'm going to do a couple more steps in here, and then I'm going to back out of here and do one of the most important steps, or this thing is not going to work, but let's keep going where we are. So the next thing we get into is we get into the Java code script right here. And uh, Java code script, JavaScript code, I don't know. Um, we get into that here. And the only thing we have to change here says input the ID selector of your image. And that's the image down here. So we'll go grab the ID selector for that. 
Come back in. And there we go. Now that will make, this will make that but I'm sorry, this image appear when somebody clicks on this button. The rest of the code, all this does is this inputs all of the above text into the form itself. And we only have one other thing we have to change, and that's right here. This is, um, well, it's best if I just show you. Let me just save this. Click on preview. And now, of course, this is not going to look right yet. I will fill this in with my contact information. And we'll go to step two. What we need to do is we need to make this not be here. So we want to right click on it. We want to go to inspect. And we want to come up to where it says this line right here where it says L order product opt in products. You're going to right click. You're going to copy the selector. And then you're going to come back into your tracking code. Scroll down and you're going to replace this entire line. So you may have to kind of go to the right and we'll copy the entire line and we will replace that. So that's all we have to do within here. In fact, let's test it and see if it's working. We still have one more major step we have to do. And it did hide that element. So now let's go back into our code. And what we need to do now is we need to back out of here because it's something we should have done before we even popped into building the site which is we need to create a product because right now we have no product showing it all on the page. So again, we had 795 in the text. So let's create a product for 795, which will actually be shipping for 795. I'm using the updated version of the uh, product selection, product creation. Um, so yours won't probably look quite like this unless you went in and uh, signed up for that. So we're just gonna call our product shipping. Oops, product name should be shipping. Product price should be 7.95. I will look on the page it is 795 and you can put in anything for the description. We will then Go to the bottom and we will save and close because we don't need to put anything else in there right now. So that actually should be it. Now that we put the product in, let's reload this page one last time. Except I know I already forgot to do something. Let me do that before we go forward. Let's go in and edit the page. The one thing I forgot to do, as you can see here, that image was showing all the time. We need to hide that image and only have it show when we click on this button. So let's do that. So all we got to do is come in to the image, open up the image, come down to the bottom and where that little eyeball is, just click on that and it will hide the image. Now we will save, go back into our preview, reload it. Image should disappear, it did. We will add, a, add in our contact information for the last time. Go to step two, image appears. Everything is the way it should be. So if you got any other questions, just let me know on that and I will get the code over to you so you can put it into your funnel. Hope you have a great day.